on the bench today, I have a brand new Heathkit Scope RF probe. This is a model number 337-C. It comes with the manual, parts list, description, and a really nice schematic. Some labels, the RG58, a 50 ohm coax cable, still fairly durable. Parts. Let's open those up. We have a circuit board, nineteen eighty five. We have a grounding clip. We have a plastic probe end. We have another plastic end. We have the probe itself, the probe tip. We have a ground lug. We have a second ground lug. We have four screws. Two capacitors. Two resistors, a germanium diode, a piece of bus wire, and number 19 was the one that inspected this. Further inside, we have given some solder right from Heathkit.
some grounding wire. A tube. a cardboard tube we're given a certification from Heathkit about these parts and an envelope send in for warranty. I've decided that rather than ruin this new board, I would go ahead and construct it on perf board. So I've cut out a piece. Now I can go ahead and install the parts on this. Rather than use the PL259 on this cable, I'm going to go ahead and put a B and C on because almost all of my equipment is B and C. Well, I want to apologize. I didn't hit the recorder when I mounted the components on the perf board. But what I did was I drilled out um, two holes here, enlarged them, so that I could get the grounding wire from the coax. I put it through, bent it 90 degrees, bent it over, bent it another 90 degrees, up another 90 degrees, and back over, and looped it through here to add support. Then I took the, the grounding bus wire here, soldered it directly to it. I mounted the components on here. Uh, a 47K, a 1 meg, the germanium diode, the 0 .02 cap, and brought it out to the probe wire. So let's go ahead and assemble it. Putting the cardboard tube on for insulation. Then putting the metal ring on.
The last thing to do is to put the the clip on. Okay, there we have our demodulator probe with a B and C end. The reason why I built this is currently I am rebuilding a Heathkit T3 signal tracer and I need a probe. So we'll test this out as soon as I get the T3 up and going. Maybe in the future, I'll add a switch in here so I can remove the diode. But until then, we'll use this as it is. If you found this video useful or entertaining, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.